Good morning, class. Okay, kindly stand up and let us pray. Close your eyes and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, kindly settle down now and pick up the pieces of dirt under your chair. Okay, class monitor, do we have any absences for today? Okay, good. So class, are you ready to gain new knowledge for today? So class, Kindly take a look at this picture. What comes to your mind if you see this picture? Yes, Patricia? Correct. How about this second picture? Yes, Janelle? Very good. That's right. Next one. The last one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any idea what is our topic for today? So before we go on to our topic, I just want you to have a game. So our game will be entitled Crush the Soil. So we just need these two blocks of soil and then I want you to group yourself according to your table. This one will be the group 1, group 2, and group 3. So the group 1 will crush this soil by colliding it each other. And then the group 2 will crush this soil by pushing it to each other. And then the last group will crush the soil by sliding it parallel but opposite and direction. So are you find this game fun and exciting? So let's begin. Okay class, since all of you are finished our activity, I want you to have any one representative each group to explain what is your observation about our activity game. Very good. So let's move on now to our next activity, which is we will going to have our experiment. So same groupings for this experiment. And I want you to use these following materials and follow the procedure for you to come up with your observation and experiment about earthquakes and how faults form. Okay, class, did all the groups finish their experiment? Okay, kindly settle down now and let's hear the presentation of each group about what they observed and gathered information during their experiment. Okay, class, very good. You all did a great job in our experiment. So aside from your observation, from your recent activity game and experiment, just for the additional information, we all know that earthquake is the shaking of the ground as a result of breaking and shifting the tectonic plates and it releases seismic energy. So meron tayong tinatawag na faults, wherein yung fault, it is the cracks on the earth's surface, wherein we have three types of fault. The first one is the normal fault, the second one is the reverse fault, and the third one is the strike slip fault. The first one is the normal fault, or also called as the deep slip. So, ang fault kasi natin, we have these two walls, 
ang na tinatawag na foot wall and the hanging wall. So, yung foot wall, ito yung surface ng ground wherein pwede kang makapaglakad. Ito namang hanging wall is yung surface din ng ground na nakahang. So, yung because of the tension forces, yung hanging wall natin is bababa siya. So, yun yung normal fold. So, kapag naman sa reverse fold, kabaliktaran siya kasi nga reverse. Because of compressional motion ay forces, So, yung hanging wall natin is tataas siya. While yung strike slip fold naman is ito yung pagkiskisa ng dalawang blocks of soil sideways in opposite direction. So, do you get it class? Do you have any questions and clarifications? Okay, if not, we will be having our short quiz. So, get ready. Ready na ba ang lahat for our quiz? So, kung ready na, here is the instruction. Kindly read the question carefully and give the answer. I will just give you 15 minutes to finish these quizzes. So, get one and pass. Okay, time's up class. Kindly pass your paper forward. Okay, for your assignment, I want you to create an infographic about your precautionary measures when you are living near the areas of the fault lines. And also, you can add some um, precautionary measures like the before, after, and during the earthquake. So, that's all for today, class. I hope you learned something from our discussion. See you tomorrow. Class dismissed.